You might remember seeing this image float around the internet a while back. Mike Trout, one of the greatest baseball players of all time, had some absolutely terrible rankings on MLB The Show 11, and the auto-generated scouting reports from the game were even more brutal. If he goes yard more than half a dozen times, be thankful. Could be a decent regular, nothing more. How on earth could MLB The Show be so wrong about a generational talent? It's easy to look back today and say the game developers got it totally wrong, but there is only so much we knew about an 18-year-old kid from New Jersey. In our new series, we'll take a look back at some of the players you know best and our first introductions to them in the MLB The Show games. Mike Trout, welcome to the show. Since a majority of us probably love looking at Mike Trout's baseball reference page religiously in our free time, I'm just going to run through the basics. Trout was a dual sport athlete at Millville High School in New Jersey, and originally pitched and played shortstop for the Thunderbolts. He threw a no-hitter as a junior, but during his senior year shifted to the outfield. Trout could steal bases and hit homers, setting a New Jersey high school record with 18 home runs in his senior year. That got the attention of many major league clubs. As a 17-year-old, Trout was drafted out of high school with the 25th pick in the first round by the Los Angeles Angels. Immediately after being drafted, Trout began his professional career in 2009 with the Arizona Angels, followed by five games with the Cedar Rapids Colonels. He worked his way up to AA with the Arkansas Travelers by the start of the 2011 season, winning the Topps Minor League Player of the Year and making a Futures Game All-Star appearance in 2010. That's where we find MLB 11 Mike Trout. Or at least, so I believe. The original card from the beginning of the video was posted by a Reddit user named Angels27 back in 2019. They were asked if it was a Sony roster update or an Operation Sports forum roster. Angels27 said they didn't know. There's no way to download roster updates for a 10-year-old game since the servers have long been shut off, and any updates that were on the internet no longer have active links. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say this was the Sony update since those were automatically applied, and the Operation Sports updates would take a lot more work to find. Besides, the guys in the OS forum say their rosters are immeasurably more accurate than what Sony posts. They would never rate Mike Trout as a deep potential, you guys. Nonetheless, it's a version of Trout that, despite being 18 years old, seems devoid of being anything special during the course of his baseball career. The only thing that seemed to be correct with Trout back in 2011 was his speed, which was given a grade of B. In 131 games, Trout had 56 stolen bases back in 2010. His potential, though, was incredibly wrong, even though he hadn't taken a major league at bat yet. Trout was the baseball prospectus number two rated prospect in 2011, only behind Bryce Harper. To say he had a D-level potential was criminal, which in MLB The Show standards would be slightly below a service-level player. After spending a few months with the Arkansas Travelers to start the 2011 season, Trout was called up to the Angels on July 8th to replace an injured Peter Burgess in the outfield. He collected his first major league hit and home run, but was sent down after 12 games with the batting average under the 200 mark. This was likely when Trout was added to the game via roster update, but it's hard to say for sure. Trout was called back up again in August, and over the course of his first year in Major League Baseball, Ball, he had a triple slash of 220, 281, 390, which isn't exactly great, but then again, this was a guy in his teens. Moving on to next year, MLB 12 Trout was rated a bit more favorably after accruing some major league playing time. His contact and power were both rated as a D in the game, despite those attributes being in the 50s out of 99, but still better than his original grades of F. His potential, though, went from a D to an A. He was the top rated center fielder on the Angels squad, now ahead of Peter Burgess. Baseball Prospectus called him the best prospect the Angels have ever had, a physical freak and a future star in most simulations of the universe. Torrey Hunter and Bobby Abreu were both still on the team, with Hunter shifting in the game from center field to right field. But both of them were getting to be on the older side, and in fact, Abreu was released to make room for Trout on the roster after batting 208 in April of 2012. Trout hit 403 in April with the Salt Lake Bees in AAA, and the rest is history. He was called up on April 28th, and he never saw the minor leagues again. In 2012, Trout would finish with a war of 10.5, a triple slash of 326, 399, 564, and 30 homers in 139 games. He would win AL Rookie of the Year, but would finish second in MVP voting to the eventual Triple Crown winner, Miguel Cabrera. Beginning in MLB 13, the scouting report grades and the potential attributes were removed, but by then, everyone knew who Mike Trout was and how special he was going to be. As a 21-year-old, Trout would be given a 99 rating in the game, and would establish himself as one of the consistently best-rated players in the show. 
a feat that continues to this day. Going into 2022, he's amassed career totals of 310 homers, a slash line of 305, 419, 583, an OPS of 1.002, and a war of 76.1, which is already good for 75th best ever. The guy is only 30 years old and let's hope he can continue to stay healthy. It's definitely comical to imagine that this is the same guy with a card grading this bad. But then again, it's hard to predict what's in the cards for an 18-year-old prospect who has their entire professional career ahead of them. Thanks for watching our new series, Welcome to the Show. If you have any other favorite current Major League players and you're curious to see how they were introduced to the game, let us know in the comment section. More new episodes and series are on the way as we near the launch of MLB The Show 22. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for all the latest content. You can also visit our website at showzone.io. Until next time, this is Kasabi.